You thought that Toa of Earth were only male? You are wrong. Hello, I am the Zombie J, and this is my mock review of Toa Kayla. Female Toa of Earth. Yep. I remember building this mock back in 2010, and that version was pretty cool. So, I decided to. Uh, over time, you know, parts were breaking and whatnot. Things were not going the way I was hoping for them to go. So, I had to replace parts as they broke. So, we'll start off with the weapon. So, let's take the weapon off. Fuck. Big ol' scythe weapon. Yes, it's a modified Chirox blade. So yeah, um, with a silver Borok eye, piston, um, Technic bits and bobs here and there, some stuff. Another Borok eye right there in silver, and one of these. So fairly like dead simple um, scythe build. If you wish to use this scythe for your own mocks, go ahead. Uh, just give me credit because this. I think it's an original design that I did, you know, you just have um, uh, a couple of 12 length rods and, um, you know, just all these extra bits and bobs here and there, a couple of Mata necks, another neck piece that is actually a four bend, and, you know, other stuff, and there you go, it's a fairly simple scythe build, use it, go ahead, I dare you, if you don't, use it anyway, so that's the scythe, now, Unfortunately, over when I originally conceived this uh, character, uh, she had different arms and legs and feet, to be honest. But I decided to. At one point, I needed the parts, so I had to, you know, replace the parts. So I replaced the legs and arms with CCBS bones and I know the color scheme is well black dark gray light gray in some cases and silver she doesn't have a mask in fact she looks dead inside hmm so yeah this is a hair design that's been used since Rudaka but hey she has a ponytail the arms and legs are fairly simple uh, I did do uh, armor shells in four length on her legs, um, crotch area, ass area, well, the ass part is just the, the crotch area, but black, um, on top of this, uh, black Vaki lower torso region. She does have waist articulation. Uh, she does have, uh, chest armor, which is this, uh, torso armor as well. <laughs> but... It is this uh, Inaika uh, piece, and you see the blue right there? Yeah, those are actually um, uh, blue pins. Uh, I had to replace the black ones that were broken, so I guess you could say those are her nipples. <laughs> uh, and of course, the Metro head. Very simple. Uh, Build, build. I mean, this torso and this entire torso region from neck to crotch is um, easy to build. Uh, you just have to ha be patient with it and, you know, have all the parts available. So, uh, articulation wise, you know, she can do that, she can do that, she can move. She does have a CCBS joint in there. So, obviously, these arms and legs of hers can move. She can do a high kick. Yeah. Oh, Mata foot in gray. So... Very poseable character. Probably not the most um, competent uh, toe of Earth, but she definitely kicks a lot of ass. And she has uh, when she was um, conceived by the Mask of Life. Story-wise, she was she was a she was a female Matoran of Earth, 
She was, uh, she had a niche of friends, a group of friends who were male, Toa of Earth, or the Matoran of Earth, and, um, you know, eventually, you know, she kind of lost her friends when she was zapped by, by the Red Star to, um, in connection with the Mask of Light, Life, um, she was given powers. She was turned into a Toa, and her friends appreciated her for her, her heroic deeds, and eventually she lost her friends because they realized that they couldn't um, necessarily be friends with a Toa because a Toa is just doing their, you know, job as protectors, as uh, the defenders of the villagers and whatnot. And, well, sad, but she still went along and uh, did her job as a Toa. Now, like with Toa Naho, she also perished um, once the fall of Makuta happened <laughs> in uh, the reformation of Spheris Magna. So, sad I know, but at least she played a vital part in some way to, uh, you know, the story of Bionicle, at least in my case of the story of Bionicle. So, this weapon is fairly long, and she does have powers. I couldn't tell you what those powers were. Some of them are, like, um... hard to explain, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that is, that is Kayla, Toa of Earth, female Toa of Earth. She is awesome, and I like her, and I'm glad I still have her built, you know. Um, I do love this scythe weapon. If you, again, if you want to use the scythe weapon for your own mocks, go ahead. Um, just give me credit, because this is a design that I came up with, I think, and I like it. I think you will too. So, if you like Toa Kayla, cool. Uh, if you don't like the CCBS parts mixed with the regular uh, Bionicle construction parts, fuck you because it works. Um, you know, I basically had to, you know, use parts that were, you know, reinforced. I had to do what I had to do, and I'm happy with the mock as she is. So, that's Toa Kayla. I like her. I think she's awesome. Um, definitely not as happy with her as I am with uh, Toa Kayla, or Toa uh, Nikila. Uh, that was that's one of my favorite mocks that I've ever built. Kayla is still pretty awesome, um, but yeah, you might be wondering uh, who I named her after. Well, I once had a friend in high school named Kayla. She was cool. But obviously the spelling was different, that's why I spelled the name of this Toa of Earth uh, different, so there you go. Kayla, if you happen to be watching this video, what's up? I miss you. So, I've got another mock I kind of want to review, um, so stay tuned for that, and yeah, stay tuned for more videos in general. I am the Zombie J. I'll see you folks there. Have a good fucking day, and peace.